Jade and Ruby are so excited that they accidentally knock over the chocolate in the fountain. Oops. Chocolate makes splashes on Amber's nightgown. She's furious. What will happen now? Are you excited? So, I am. Get into it. And here it is. story we are going to read today hmm i'm super excited about the story do you know why it's the famous one and only any idea sophia the first and it's somewhat magical look changes color watch out the faces Mm, I like it. Do you? Hmm. So. Hmm, Disney, Sophia, the first. Okay. So. Sophia and Amber are having a royal sleepover tonight. This is where they'll be sleeping. Amber says. The observatory will sleep under the stars, Sophia cries. It's a royal slumber party, Amber says. Everything has to be amazing. Sophia's two friends, best friends, Ruby and Jade, are coming. Amber is shocked. You invited the village girls? You are a princess now. You should only invite princesses to royal parties. But... Ruby and Jade are fun, Sophia tells Amber. You'll see. Hmm. Okay, let's see what they'll see. Hmm. The Royal Harold's trumpet sound. Da -da -da -da. They are here, Sophia cries. Amber's friends, Princesses Heldegard and Princess Cleo, step out of the coaches. Behind them are Jade and Ruby in an ox car. I can't believe we are here, Jade exclaims, hugging Sophia. We are so excited, Ruby adds. And yes, high five, high five, she is doing. And she's so overjoyed. It's time for the party to start. The princesses change into fancy nightgowns. Ruby and Jade giggle as they roll their hair in pine cone curlers, just like they do at home. We are at a royal sleepover, they tell, pulling Sophia up to join their silly dance. Oops, they're enjoying so much. And these two, oops, so boring they are, aren't they? The other princesses stare at Ruby and Jade. What are they wearing? Heldegard says. What are they doing? Cleo wonders. Amber frowns. Are those pine cones? Ruby hears her and dances over. Ta -na 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 -na. Uh, do you want one? We brought extras. Ruby says. Amber marches over to Sophia. Sophia, pine cones are not a part of perfect princess Lambo party. Sophia is worried. She wants her new sister and all her old friends to like each other. They can fit in, she says. They need just a little help. Hmm. Let's see. Hmm. Okay. Sophia has a great idea. Hmm. How would you do like a royal makeover? She asks her friend. Hmm. Ruby and Jade squeal with excitement. Bill Wick and Sophia's woodland friend help you. Help out. They fix the girls here and dress them in a pretty gown sparkling tiaras. Okay. Hmm. Sophia makes her friends cover their eyes then she leads them to a mirror open your eyes ta-da she says 
Jay and Ruby gasp when they see them when they see themselves. <gasps> I'm a princess! Ruby exclaims. Me too, calls Jade. And they're so happy. And so as Sophia. Hmm. Now it's time for party activities. First come fun decorating. Ruby and Jade have fun, you can see, but their fans don't look very princessy. That's what she's thinking, I think. Next, the girls play a game of pin the tail on the car, unicorn. Oh, oh, Jade says, can I go first? But Jade ends up no, nowhere near the unicorn. Okay, then, hmm. Then the girls watch Cedric, the royal sorcerer, put on a magic puppet show in the banquet hall. During the show, James, hmm, this one, Sophia's brother, walks in with a message for the girls. Prince James! Jade and Ruby cry, rushing towards him. They are thrilled to see the friendly prince. Okay, they are so excited. I think over excited. <gasps> and Jay and Ruby are so excited that they accidentally knock over the chocolate milk fountain. Ooh, chocolate milk splashes onto the Amber's night again. She is furious. <gasps> what will happen now? <laughs> Do you want to know more? Let's get into it. Okay. We are so, so, so sorry. Hmm, Ruby says to Amber, so sorry, Jade adds. Amber walks off in a huff while Sophia shakes her head sadly. Mm, 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 mm. Okay. Bill Wick hurries Jade and Ruby away to get cleaned up. Then James tells the girl, it's time for some dancing in the throne room. Let's go, Amber says. Maybe we can enjoy five minutes of our party without Sophia's friend making a mess. Oh, so they're making a mess. What do you think, cats? Now Sophia is even more worried. Poor Sophia. She goes to find her friends. I want you both to fit in with the princesses. Sophie explains, we look just like them now, don't we? Jade says, yes, Sophia says, but princesses don't talk as much or laugh as loud or make as much mess. She's explaining, look at her. Hmm. So, so now. Jade frowns. We were just having fun. We are sorry. Ruby adds quickly. We'll try to act more like Amber and the other princesses. Thank you. Sophia is relieved. Mm. Now she's sure everyone will get along. Mm. Sophia and her friends join the others in the throne room. But Ruby and Jade don't know how to waltz. All they can do is stand there and watch the four princesses dance after a while. Yes, you can see they're thinking and they're saying we are looking stupid standing like this. What to do? So they're thinking after a while, they tell Sophia that they would like to go home. Oh, so they came to the end result. What to do? But you are finally fitting in, Sophia cries. And you're not embarrassing me anymore. Okay. I'm sorry if we talk too much and laugh too loudly for your fancy new friends, says Jade. Maybe we shouldn't be friends anymore. Oh. What she's saying? Ruby takes Jade Am. You can see she is holding her arm. Ruby takes Jade arm and together they ride out of the room. Don't worry about them, Hildegard tells Sophia. You are with us now. So mean friends they are, these new fancy friends. They're so mean. Hmm? 
okay Sophia goes after her friends and finds her mother instead I was trying to help Jade and Ruby fit in she explains but I just made them feel bad a true princess treats people with kindness Sophia Queen Miranda says gently if someone is your friend you should treat you should treat them or you should like them for who they are okay Sophia knows her mother is right she runs out and finds her friends just as they are about to leave I'm sorry about the way I acted she says please let me make up make it up to you we can have our own slumber party just the three of us jade and ruby think for a moment mm -hmm. let us think and finally okay what do you think will she agree mm, yes yes and finally agree to stay yay Na -na -na. Na -na -na. they agree okay soon sophia and her friends are in her room having great time they laugh loudly ha 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 they talk a lot but they roll pine cones in their hair and put tiaras on the top hmm okay so why they are wearing those pine cone colors just to prevent their hairs from licking its wounds? Aha! Uh -huh. Don't be silly. Uh -huh. Okay. Mm. Meanwhile, Amber and her friends go back to the observatory. Finally, it's just us princesses, Amber says. This is a perfect party. Hildegard agrees with the yawn. Mm. There is a long silence. The princesses are really bored. You know, Cleo says, Sophia's friends were kind of fun. Hmm, now they realized. Okay, that's good. <sighs> it's never late when you realize. A moment later, Amber and her friends knock on Sophia's door. Mm. Do you have a room for a few more princesses? Ask Amber. Sophia looks at Jade and Ruby. What do you think? The more, the merrier, Ruby says with a smile. Sophia and Amber end up having the perfect sleepover with friends, Ole and Neil. So, the princess's lesson, a true princess treats people with kindness and that's the end Ta -da.